Hi, today I'm going to show you a little bit about the basics of the query function in Google Sheets. I've written an article about it, walking you step by step through each of um, the main keywords, select, where, order by, and limit, and I've made this Google Sheet that's accessible to anyone. Uh, you can see each of the functions that I've done, so if you click on the cell that is highlighted in purple, you can see the um, in action, the query, and kind of work backwards from there if that's how you learn. And so you can see it's um, labeled by the type of um, the advancement of the function and what keywords are in it. So you can see here I have a select and a where, and so that's on the where's and multiple where's. So I'm going to walk you through all of the select where's, um, order by, and limits really quickly um, and show you exactly how to do that. So the first thing you need to do is have your data set and I re would recommend naming it. So highlight your data set, go to data, named ranges, and then click any, type in any name that you want for your data range. I've called mine range one and I need to remember that for when I'm setting the parameters of what I want to, what data I want to query, um, and that's going to be the first argument of the query function. So I will write equal sign query, and that's how any query function is going to start. And so the first thing I want to enter is what data range I'm interested in looking at and querying. And in this case, I'm interested in looking at range one. And you can see that it suggests uh, range one for me. So I'm going to press range one, then I'm going to press a comma. And now this is the argument of the query function where I can get really specific and say what I want out of this data set. I can do computations, I can select certain columns and based on certain parameters, and you're all you're doing this all using English words like select, where, order by, and limit, and it's really intuitive. The first thing you're going to want to start with is select, and so if you want to select the entire range and just uh, transpose it right here, we'll do select and make sure it's in quotes. Oops, sorry, not the bracket, in quotes, and you'll do an asterisk, end quotes, and the parentheses, and you'll see that this is, the data retrieved is the exact same data for my data set. Now, let's say that I'm only interested in maybe the name of the, of the company, the year it was founded, and the monthly revenue. So I would go back to here and say, that's column B, column D, and column G. So I would go back here and change this to B, comma, D, comma, G. And press enter. And you can see that now I only have the name, the year it was founded, and monthly revenue. Now, let's say I want to get even more specific. So I've chose, I've selected my columns, but let's say that I'm only interested in columns B, D, and G, where column C is the United States. So I wouldn't be interested in anything coming from France. I guess that's the only other one. So I only want to aggregate the data where um, C equals France. And so I would write that basically the same way I'm speaking it. So I would say, I would go up to my cell, my original cell, and I would say, so I'm selecting columns B, D, and G, where C equals, and then I'm gonna do uh, one quotation mark and then write the text. That signifies that it's the United States as a text within um, the cell and then close that one quotation mark, close it with the second quotation marks that hold the whole um, query section, and then end it with a parentheses. So I'm doing select columns B, D, and G, where C equals the United States. And if you notice, I don't need to have column C selected. It will still just give me the name of the company, the founding date, the monthly revenue, but just sort them by 
um, the country that they are from. So I'll press enter and you can see that I don't have Action Desk, which is the company from France. And so that's basically um, the where function. Now, if we want to do multiple wares, let's say we um, want to also say where um, there's no blanks. We just want all of our data where there's no blanks. So we'll go back to our function and we'll say where C equals the United States. And then we'll just write and, and A, column A. We don't want anything in column A. Or, yep, where column A or column C, where A is not null. And that just means where there's something in uh, the cells in column A. And so I'll do this, and you can see that we don't have any more spaces like we did beneath SpaceX. And um, because there was a null in column A, and it just got completely rid of that. The next part is order by, and what we're going to do is, let's say we want to order by, um, order by the revenue when we want to make a list starting with the highest amount of revenue and going down to the lowest. So we're going to add on after our select clause, our where clause, then we will write order by. And then we're going to we're going to want to order it by the monthly revenue. So we're ordering it by column G. Again, you have to go back to the original data set. So we're going here. We're going order by G, and then we're going to write D E S C descending. So meaning starting with the greatest and going to the lowest, and ascending would be the opposite. And that abbreviation is just ASC. And so descending is D-E-S-C, and ascending is A-S-C. So now if we press enter, you can see that Lowe's has the greatest monthly revenue down and down and down and down. And that's how you order it. And again, it goes select, where, and then order by. Now let's say you only want the top five earnings, the top five companies that have the most earnings. We can easily limit that by going back to our function, writing limit, and then five. We just want the top five. And uh, it's included here the header row. And if we want to get rid of the header row, we would just do comma one, indicating that there is one header row. And now it will get us back to um, five different, the top five companies.